this is a dumbed down version, is I have the essential components that make up how we describe the aero analysis for this circuit. Increase. What's the easy thing to do, like I showed you two other times? Take that increase and do what to it? Yeah, just treat this like a box. It's a way to do it. It's really easy. Increase. Well, essentially, across the board, if I couldn't regulate the output voltage, won't that cause the voltage load to increase? Yes, yeah, basically it does. Yeah. So take that increase right here and put it right here at the feedback network. Just do it. Just do it. It's going to feel that increase. Set it, forget it. It's what I said about this circuit. Once R7 set, hey, normal operating conditions, it's going to compensate due to change the line load. Yes. This increase is going to be felt here at the base of Q3. What kind of transistor are we dealing with? A shunt. NPN. Well, yeah, shunt, sure. But it's an NPN, so I'm asking. So if I have an increased potential on the base, which is P-type material, it's going to cause, or this transistor will sense an increase there at the base. Oh, it needs to conduct more. Yes? Yes, sir. So right now, go here, increase conduction in Q3. Naturally, the VCE is going to do what? Decrease. Decrease, because load line, current of the transistor conduction, that is, and the VCR inverse. Said that a bunch of times. That decrease in potential of the collector is going to cause what at the base of Q1? Decrease. Now I've got a decrease. The base, it's still an NPN transistor. Q1 is going to do what? Conduct less. Conduct less. So we can come here. Less conduction. Here, I'll write this too. Q1 less. More VCE less. What about VCE at Q1? More. Because so are the opposite. There's your arrow analysis. Because ultimately, if I have an increase in potential, I don't want the output voltage to increase because I total goes up, doesn't it? Yes, sir. It does. The circuit has to take that and compensate for it. Ultimately, what do I need at the load <coughs> to take that <coughs> potential increase and settle it back down? Q1 needs what? To do what? Less current to the load. Well, isn't that what Q1's doing? Yes, sir. If you know series voltage regulator and you know shunt voltage regulator, aero analysis, can you do this? Yes, sir. Because the Q1 in this circuit is like the series pass transistor in a series voltage regulator. The arrows, that is. The arrows are the same. Why? Oh, look. See? Increase. I bet when it decreases, it decreases too. Q3 is like the shunt transistor in the shunt regulator. Hey, look. Guess what? Line and VCE. Guess what? Aren't they inverse? See? You know series, you know shunt, you can do this one. Just by placement of the transistors in the circuit. Got it? Yes, sir. When there's a decrease in line, it's the opposite, isn't it? Yes, sir. So I'm going to use a different color. Hey, we'll use orange. Decrease in line. Take that decrease, take that decrease, and just do it. Just do this. Hey, that decrease is going to be felt here because I don't want my load voltage to do what? Don't want it to decrease. Immediately, as soon as the circuit feels that decrease, that decrease is felt back here on the base of Q3, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Causing Q3 to do what? Conduction. Less. Less this time. VCE? Increase. So let's keep up here. Less. Increase. That potential on the base, the collector, what? Increase. Going to be more, isn't it? Yes, NPN. Larger potential on P top material is going to cause Q1 to do what? Forward bias. Forward bias conduct more. VCE? <laughs> isn't that amazing? Yes, yes sir. 
because ultimately I need Q1 to conduct more so I can take that decrease of potential and raise it back up so I don't have my V out go down. How's that? Can you do it? Yes, sir. Fred, can you do this? Good. Because you're going to do the next one. Load. See what you remember. Load increases. Now we're over here. Do you remember what I told you about the line and load for this circuit when you're dealing with the <coughs> analysis? <coughs> no, 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 not, not y'all. Uh, Brad. See what you remember. There's a little secret I told you what I'm trying to say. What's the relationship to the line and load in this circuit as far as analysis goes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're the same. It's the same. So if the load increases, which color do I need to use? Be confident. You're saying blue, the blue marker. Blue indicates an increase, right? That's it. That's what we want to use, don't we? It is. Because I'm not messing with the input. So therefore, I total is the same, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, sir. sir. I total is not going to change this time. But based on nature, how the circuit's configured, if I take this load, unplug it, plug a larger one in, isn't the same current exist as soon as... I unplug it and plug a new one in. Imagine same current times larger resistor could cause what? Voltage output to do what? See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Use the same. Oh, it's going to feel that increase because there's a potential increase in the output voltage. That's felt back, isn't it? That's why it's called a feedback regulator. Arrows are the same, aren't they? Aren't they? Everybody, aren't they? Yes, sir. yes, they are. So can we walk this through there, Mr. Bragg? Because I don't want V out. I don't want V out or VR load. I don't want this. I don't want that to happen because I put a larger resistor in with times the same current. Bigger resistor times same current equals what kind of voltage? That's Ohm's law that you'd like to get all confused about and argue with. Ohm's law. I don't want that to happen. I want it to stay the same. Going, going, focus over here. Walk it out there, Mr. Bragg. Increase, increase on the base of Q3. He's going to cause Q3 to do what? Just brag. It's an NPN transistor. I'm putting a larger potential on the base, NP, a P type material. More potential is going to cause that transistor to do what? Okay, cause what to increase? Cause what to increase? I'm taking that junction and doing this. If I make the depletion region smaller, what happens to current? There's more, right? Conducts more? That's what I'm asking you. So down here at the arrow analysis, right here, IQ or transistor or conduction of Q3, it's going to increase, isn't it? Brag? Increase, that's this. Low line. Conduction transistor increases. VCE does what? Come on. You're, at, you're like, really? Come on. We've been talking about this since BEO3. What annex are we in now? It's not up here. We're, you know we're in annex 4, right? <coughs> yes, load line. I had it up there earlier. What have I been saying? What have I been saying this whole time about load line? Conduction and transistor and VCE are what? Inverse. They're inverse. It's the same every single time, Brad. The same. So we already know conduction increases. Can you say this right away? Yes. 